So you can see that just because I'm in a tiny house doesn't mean I'm not a hoarder. Two spinning wheels. A little teeny one and a really big amazing one. This one is amazing at what it does. That one's amazing at what it does. But do I really need both of them? Ah, uh, no. I really don't. But on top of that, I also have my Lazy Kate that I invented. And I am going to make a video showing you how to do this. Because a lot of times if you have a built-in uh, Lazy Kate to hold your bobbins, it, if, especially if you're a beginning spinner, it's very difficult to ply that close to the bobbin because these little teeth will catch it. So what this is for is for if you have drop spindles or if you have uh, supported spindles or if you have something like the polywog where it's really kind of difficult to ply from that space. So I will try and explain to you how to make these. They're very simple. It costs me $10 to make this and it works like a dream. So I prefer when I'm plying to have a lazy cape that sits on the floor. This is a great place to store bobbins and I'm not unhappy that it's there, but for all intents and purposes, Having a lazy kit on the floor is great. So what this is, is this is just a, probably a one by, a, a 12 inch by 18 inch piece of wood. And what I did, I'll take all this out so it's not confusing. What I did was I went and got some eye bolts and the nuts that I put on them are are the kind that have the wax in it so that when you tighten them down they don't come undone. And there's a washer here and there's a washer here and both sides have nuts, those those locking nuts. So here's, here's a nut and here's a washer and here's a washer and here's a nut. And then I wanted it to be up off the ground a little bit so I made sure that there was a little bit of a of a leg there. And that's what it looks like. And the ones that I used were one quarter inch by eight inch. And um, let's see if I could, it's an eye bolt with nuts. And um, let's see if it has any other instructions. But it's a quarter inch, so the, the shaft here is a quarter inch. And then it's eight inches long from the top of the eye bolt to the bottom. And I want it to be an eye bolt because I don't, the, the bobbin is going to do a lot of rattling. And if it's just a hook, or something kind of open, it won't hold. So, you can use a dowel to do this, as long as it's small enough, it needs to be less than a quarter inch, otherwise it won't fit through the, the eye. But it fits through like this, and I'll show you. So, goes in like this. And like that. And if you wanted to have a bigger bobbin on here, you would need to space these out more. If you had something that was an eight ounce instead of a four ounce, you would want to make this space wider. You'd want a wider board. And if you wanted to have more than a two ply, you'd want a longer board so that you could put in as many as you need. And then keep in mind the distance between these needs to be more than the width of the bobbins so that the bobbins when they're full or even if they're not full are not bumping into each other. And what I'm using right now is the is the tall uh, 16 ounce uh, Lazy Kate rods from my Mach 3. I have done it with dowels before but this time it was just easier to show this because I've already got it. So there you have it. So you're going to do a two ply now. And then what you take is you take yogurt containers. You can do something else, but I like these because they hold things on pretty securely. So I take yogurt containers and make a little cross in them. And then I pop them right on. And I was going to show you how I did that. So here's a yogurt container. And I don't want to hold because I want it to be somewhat under pressure. So I pop there. And then I pop there. And now there's a little X on the back that just holds that on really nice and snug. And this is why it's $10. The only thing I paid money for here was the eye bolts. And then there you have a Lazy Kate. And it spins. Let's see if I can show you how well it spins. It just spins freely like that. See how freely it spins? So when you're plying and you need to be able to take off two pieces like this, you just set this whole thing down on the floor and then you just draw it out and you ply in the opposite direction. 
and if you didn't have these pieces here, these little yogurt container lids, it wouldn't work because it would wobble too much and the ends would come off. So, 